Greetings, it's Vagram, back with another episode of Hot Blocks. On this particular episode, I'm looking for a good place to mine. This is a test world for the new upcoming Vagram's Chance Season 2 Mod Pack for 1710. And one of the things that I wanted to show you guys in the new mechanism... It is the Seismic Vibrator. Now this thing is not terribly hard to make. Some tin ingots, lapis, a steel casing, and some basic control circuits. Not too hard. Now another thing you also need is a Seismic Reader. This is more difficult. Steel ingots and lapis. And I'm really glad to see Mechanism making a good use for lapis. I think that's really, really cool. So what this thing does, I'm going to right click Put, I'm going to make a copy and put a battery in there. You'll see it says vibrating chunk negative 7, comma, I mean negative 47, comma 7. Well, what it is doing is I can actually right click and I get this wonderful reading. Empty, that's what the white is right there, so that's an empty spot. I think this is actually this little ledge that we're standing on top of. And that's the air gap underneath it. You see there is solids fluids and empty so what I can tell is the different kinds of solids and what they are now right now these things don't have tooltips but you can tell there's the little speckled and I'm actually not seeing a lot of speckled so I would break that let's go over here a little ways I'm actually going to bring up my, whoa, chunk borders. There we go. Um, and I'm going to put it down again. This only does it within the chunk. See? Negative 47, comma 5. It only does it within the chunk that you currently have it. So I'm going to have to move it around. And I'm seeing some solids way down there. I think this is uh, dirt. I'm assuming that's grass. That's top layer. There's air. Not a lot of air pockets around here. Kind of get that battery back. Head over here a little ways more. And just pop this down and repeat. Now, there's one thing that you're going to find out. Let me see if I can back it up. There was a problem previously. Yeah, see, unable to discover any vibrations. I'm now officially in a separate chunk. You see? I have to be within the same chunk as the vibrator to get any readings. And it is telling me... Oh, I think it's telling me what's directly underneath me. Oh. This is very fascinating to mess with. I absolutely love it. But it only works, again, within the chunk... You see, there's some more right down there. Some more solids. I think that's a pack of dirt. Now, I have encouraged the mechanism development team. There's some more ore. Speckles. I always assume the speckles are ore. I'm not sure. Solids, solids. I think this might be sand or sandstone. I don't know for sure, but... I think they've intentionally left it a little vague. What I have actually recommended, though, is they at least have a pop-up as to what color this is. Or if you hover over this bar, have a little magnified view pop up on it that uh, gives you a better indication as to what you're looking at. Right now, this is very tiny. However, let me go over here. You'll see that within this chunk, I get, see, there's a whole bunch of ore right down there. Directly below me. So I could mark this spot and it lets me know I can survey a chunk and get an overall. Now another thing this is very, very good for is finding air gaps and lava. That's a real cool benefit for it. Let's you find underground lava pools, underground water sources. I'm going to turn that off. I think it's interesting that it gives out a light source. Let's turn this on again. See, it lights up the whole area. I think that's cool. There's some more. 
Um, ooh, there's a lot of ore down there. Okay, you see? There's an air gap and then water right there. That's blue. Now, a lot of you know that I'm colorblind. How do I know this is blue? I have a little app that I run in parallel to a lot of my games that is called What Color? And it tells me a little tooltip in the top right corner of my monitor as to what color something is that my, my mouse cursor is directly over. I know that's a shade of blue. And it literally says a shade of blue. Or it will say light blue, dark blue. Sometimes it'll say like cyan, but most times it says a shade of to keep it simple. Uh, brown. See? And green. I think solids might be anything like uh, non-dirt, non-stone. See, this is all stone down here. All stone is what that is. So, I think it's very, very interesting. You can look around and see. You can find underground cave systems this way. It's a fabulous little device. Now, the handheld itself has some battery power, and every time you take a reading, it uses a little bit of power. Plus, whoops, the actual seismic vibrator requires power, and it uses just a little bit. You see, it's got a maximum of 8,000. Let me turn this off. You got a maximum of 8,000, and it's only used 20 so far. If I get a reading again... Yeah, see? It's just, just one time that you fire it off, I think. It's going up and down. Basically vibrating this whole chunk that we're standing within. Wow. Some weird chunk settings now in, in uh, chunk display modes in the NEI. Um, so, yeah, I really love this thing. I think it is an awesome addition to Mechanism, and it's useful for use in not just Mechanism, but for other mods. Even if you don't use the Mechanism um, Digital Miner, maybe you just use an old-fashioned Quarry, or maybe you use Quarry Plus, or something like that. You can get little readings... Wow, that's a bad spot right there. To see... Yeah, just crossed out of the chunk border. There we go. That must be out. There we go. And you can just see where you want to place something. It does what it does very, very well. Now... I really do encourage you guys, if you can think of a way to make this more useful, more easy to use, without actually making it too overpowered, then definitely leave some suggestions in the comments for the video. I'm quite sure the Mechanism Development Team would love to hear about it. Um, and yeah, I, I think this is a very cool thing. I'm very eager to try and get this set up. Actually, I'm just going to bust that. Now, I'm very eager to get this set up now in a new world, get it tested, and start actually using it to see what kind of stuff it can actually yield for me. Oh, see? Big air pocket right down there that reads is empty. That is an underground cave, and you can kind of see it heads this way. Whoop, and it spans out a little bit more. Yeah, it splits off a little bit there, splits off, remerges, and then it stops. If I go up here, I don't find it right here, which means, see, there it is again. It's very interesting. I l really do love this for finding underground cave systems. If you don't like just digging stair step through solid rock, you like caving, this is a really good tool to find some of those hidden underground caves. It might save you some time. So, the Seismic Vibrator from Mechanism and its accessory, the Seismic Reader. I really do suggest that you guys take a look at the new Mechanism, look at some of the new blocks that are in it, and, you know, just test it and play around with it. I think this is a great addition to the Mechanism family and to any mod pack. This will go well with so many other mods. So, something to think about. Whoop, skeletons. This is Vagram, signing off for another episode of Odd Blocks. I'm going to plot around this test world just a little bit more and um, see how things are going. I will talk to you all later. Bye bye.
Thank <laughs> you.